No matter your skill level or your experience, planning a time to put a little bit of pressure on yourself and simulate a little bit of what a performance is gonna feel like is gonna open a world of new knowledge to you. You'll learn a huge amount about how you deal with the stress of performance and how exactly your own practicing has prepared or not prepared you for the moment that's coming up. Hey, welcome to Pianist Academy. I'm Charles Stepanek. This is the third video in an installment about my practice in preparation for a collaborative concert with tubist Patrick Sheridan. In the first two videos, you saw a complete run through of nearly all of the rep for the concert. And you also saw a guide for yourself about how to think about starting practicing for something big like a full length recital or a similar program, or even something small, just like a single piece of music. Today is what I like to call my 50% or halfway through check-in. Somewhere near the midpoint between the date I started practice and the date of the concert, I like to sit down and, for the first time at performance tempo, try to run through most or as much of the rep as I can get through. This gives me a great gauge for how much progress I've made so far and also maybe what I'm missing, what I need to focus more on, what stuff works when it's in isolation in practice, but maybe it doesn't work so well when it's in the context of a run through or a performance. There are some teachers that say that you shouldn't be doing run throughs until just prior to a performance and I highly disagree with that. When you study piano in college or beyond, you have something called studio class and that meets usually about once a week and it's for about an hour and it's time for everybody who's taking lessons from your professor to come together and perform for one another in a closed environment not open to the public. Slots to play in the studio class usually go first to students that do have performances coming up. And while they could be this week maybe, they also could be later in a month or even two months away. All that said, it's incredibly helpful to run through and if possible, perform what you're working on prior to the actual event you're practicing for. The reason being is that you learn a huge amount about how you deal with the stress of performance and how exactly your own practicing has prepared or not prepared you for the moment that's coming up. If you have something like a studio class, take advantage of it. If you don't, maybe ask your teacher that you're studying with for some extra time outside of your lesson to just sit and listen to you. Or if that's a little bit too hard, just ask a friend or one of your parents to sit and devote their full attention to your playing. Even if it's someone that you live with, you're gonna find a huge difference between practicing while they're just in the house somewhere and performing for them while they're sitting in the same room and watching you. Here's a few highlights from my own halfway through check-in that I did earlier today. You're going to see some of my reactions to it pop up in text on the screen.
Okay, today's big takeaway is that no matter your skill level or your experience, planning a time to put a little bit of pressure on yourself and simulate a little bit of what a performance is gonna feel like is gonna open a world of new knowledge to you. Knowledge that you can use to continue to refine your own practicing, knowledge you can use to avoid the dreaded brain freeze on stage when your muscle memory leaves you for no apparent reason, and to learn if you're on course to give a great concert with the practice you've been putting in, or if you need to kick it up a notch or two. You're gonna to wanna to learn these things while you still have time to make corrections and changes. Okay, that's it for today. I hope these ideas have been helpful to you. Be sure to click that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, ding the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos, and remember, practice smarter, not harder, and I'll see you next time you visit Pianist Academy.